Do you think a 12 year old should be able to get a tattoo? I'm gonna say no. Probably not. Uh, no. It's probably too young to make decisions. It's a pretty permanent decision. They can't make the decision for themselves yet. Something permanent on their body. Do you think a 12 year old should be able to consent to puberty blockers? Yes. Yes. And I understand how that sounds really hypocritical. Yes, it's a permanent change on their body, but I think that at that point in their life, they probably know who they are, who they want to be. And you think so at 12 years old? Uh, yes. Your parents have failed you. You must have heard yourself speaking when you said that. They're old enough to make a decision that it's going to be life altering and fuck up their bodies, but they're not old enough to get a bit of ink. Make it make sense, Michael. Make what? it make sense. I thought oh. this was an interesting video about tattoos and stuff. And then he just took that turn and I'm, I'm lost for words right now. How? How does that make sense in their heads? How? You're on a university campus. What are you guys learning there? How did you, do you know what? I know that you're trying to play for a team. You know, you're trying to play for the woke team. But when you hear yourself talk, surely you must cringe. Yeah, people are not talking sense or, or what they really believe in because they're scared they're going to get cancelled. You're not going to get cancelled for saying that a child is not old enough to make a life-changing decision. It's, it's, it's just facts, it's reality. Do I think a 12-year-old is old enough to get a tattoo? No, because I know a lot of people who got tattoos at 18 and regretted it. You're young, you're dumb, whatever. And do I think as a 12-year-old, you are old enough to make such a big life-changing decision? Absolutely not. As humans, we all have different feelings and emotions throughout our life that would change our mind. I, I might have wanted to be a fashion designer when I was 12 years old, and now that I'm older, do I want to be a fashion designer? No. We, we, we change the way we feel about things. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, yeah, is that I would have less of a problem if they were just consistent. Mm -hmm. If they said no to both or yes to both, yes, I would say if you say yes to both, then mm -hmm. at least uh, you're an idiot, but at least yeah. you're consistent in your in your idiotic behavior. Mm -hmm. But you said no to tattoo, but yes to puberty blockers, puberty blockers. You're more interested in appeasing whatever woke mob you've got on your yeah. university campuses than appealing to common sense. You yeah. have to go home and look at yourself in the mirror and realize that you've paid all that money to go to university and you are still a fucking retard. Puberty blockers is actually, it's, it's messing with your whole... Everything. Yeah, and a tattoo, you can get a tattoo removed. It's not that deep. And it's not, it's... It, a tattoo is not changing who you are or there's there's not much consequences to a tattoo but a puberty blocker there's so much that can go wrong with it there's so much regret that can come with it and i just think it's a wild statement there's the psychological damage that can mm. be done to a child if you put them on pu puberty blockers because they can't consent right if we do not believe that children can consent to sex then this should fall under the same bracket as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, if you ask these people, do you think a 12-year-old can consent to sex, they're going to say, hell no. I don't know. Some no, of because these, they some said of these no kids, to the tattoo. Some of these, yeah, you would think. But some of these dummies, they would probably say some dumb shit like their body, their choice. Oh, drop me out. Do you think a 12-year-old should be able to consent to puberty blockers? Yes, because that's not a permanent decision. That's a life-changing decision. I don't think that any 12-year-old is in a position to make a decision that's going to affect them long term. When you get puberty blockers, for a lot of kids that's like life-saving is keeping them from having to go through a puberty. I think puberty blockers are a great sort of like middle ground to allow a child to better understand themselves without having to make decisions like surgery or doing nothing and having to live through a puberty that is not within d that they don't identify with that you, you don't identify with your biological structure michael i lost brain cells watching this thank god for the guy with the epic sense. mustache thank god for him there was some common sense there because that girl on the white top was as dumb as they come i think she knows it as well a hundred percent she knows she's it. stumbling all over the place Did you see the interviewer's face he stumbled he was oh, just i like, didn't i was watching her He was just looking at her like is she is she for real like, does, does she have parents? Did nobody guide this girl in the right direction? If you're telling children 
that it's fine and harmless for them to go on puberty blockers and that it's reversed. The damage that happens to these children on puberty blockers is they're not going to be the same afterwards. They're not going to be the same afterwards. It's not a case of you put them on this shit and then, you know, you take them off and then it's, it's, it's smooth sailing. That, that just... Honestly, it's just mind-numbing. Like, we just live in a society full of child abusers. Just child abuse after child abuse. This is exactly what it is. You know what? You've put it into perfect words there. In every way possible, this is just what is happening these days. <sighs> and us people who want to protect the children, we're, we're the wrong people. We're the, we're the bigots. This is on a university campus as well, man. That is depressing because that is the future of the country. I think there's plenty of time to make those decisions later on once they've had a chance to decide exactly what they want their identity to be. I think that maybe there should be more waiting, but I don't want to, like, put down trans ideas, so. Do you think a 12-year-old should be able to consent to puberty blockers? If they can make an informed decision, yeah. And you think a 12-year-old can make an informed decision? I don't know. I guess it depends on the 12-year-old. be like a really mature 12-year-old. Right, yeah. Because some children, you can just tell, like, when they... They're, they're literally so concerned of being cancelled. That's all it is. They're so fake. These people are liars. And anyone that believes them is stupid. They don't care about you. All they care about is being looked at a certain way. Yeah, the, but you know what? These people all just hang themselves with what they say. You know what I'm mm. saying? And you just got to let them talk because they're just making a fool of themselves anyway. Absolute dummies. Absolute dummies. Children the making max. informed decisions. Say that sentence three times in the mirror. She knew that she didn't believe what she was saying because as soon as he said, do you think a 12-year-old ca can make an informed decision? That's why she was like, "Fucking a mature one. What the fuck? I'm sorry. My language is terrible at the moment. I'm so sorry. Uh, you're not the one that needs to be apologising here. It's these university campuses for allowing these morons on there. I need to stop swearing. Honestly, I went through a whole period where I stopped swearing. Do you remember? And it's I was so good with it. No, no, it's not even about YouTube. It's a more of a personal thing. I don't want to... Hot your mouth. You don't swear in general, though. Like you, I rarely hear you swearing. Recently, I've been awful with it. I don't know what's happened to me, but I, it's maybe I'm just frustrated. Mm. What are you frustrated with? They, that that decision is legit with them, but like a 12 year old child, I think that would be a little difficult. At 12 years old, you have a sense of your gender identity, of your sex identity. Um, so I don't see why. I mean, we, we know there's kids that young killing themselves because they don't, because they have so much gender dysphoria that they're having to deal with the struggles of being trans. So why would we, if there's a simple answer like puberty blockers, I, I think it's one of the best resources. Okay. Personally. So if a 12 year old thinks they're a different gender, they should be able to go in and be like, I want puberty blockers. I mean, I don't think it's that simple as that. I think there's a lot more like, like medical theory and social well wellness that needs to be incorporated into that interaction between a 12 year old and a, I guess, a doctor, if that's what you're saying they're going to. But I do think that a 12 year old should have that choice. What do you have to say to those people that let their children consent to puberty blockers at like 10, 11, 12 years old? Uh, I would say that I disagree with you and I think you're an irresponsible parent. Bottom line. They are irresponsible parents and they're too concerned again with being accepted by their woke overlords. I do think these parents are uh, abusing their children. I think they're irresponsible. I think they're negligent. I think they're too concerned with how they look amongst their peers rather than the well-being of their children. I think that they're dumb. I think that they need to learn a lot. I think they shouldn't have had children if that's something that they're going to be doing. And in general, I have very little next to no respect for any parent that is doing that to their child. That's what I think. I think you can go fuck yourself. That's what I think. I think you can go fuck yourself a hundred times. You should bury your head in the dirt. Deplorable, shameful human beings. Children. I mean, you can do whatever you want when you're an adult. I really don't care. I mean, there's a lot of things I don't agree with, but adults do whatever they want, you know. You've grown up. You have some grasp on, I hope you do, you have some grasp on how the world works, make your own decisions, but a 12-year-old that cannot make an informed decision. No. And up until yesterday, 12-year-olds were not struggling with gender dysphoria. I don't know what the fuck she was talking about. 
Bro, you're still learning about science and biology when you're in school. 12-year-olds probably haven't even started that subject yet. All that I was struggling to do at 12 years old was, do I want to watch Xena, Princess Warrior, or do I want to watch Hercules' Legendary Adventures? Which one do I want to watch? Children are worried about stupid things that don't matter. This is it. When I was 12 years old, I couldn't wait to get home from school so I could watch High School Musical. Yeah. I, I remember... I remember getting stressed out because I told Fraser, come to my house at this time so we could watch Robot Wars together. And he wasn't on time. He wasn't on time. I was oh, vexed. Oh dear, Fraser. I was vexed. I'm not, I'm not, no one's thinking about, oh, I want to chop off my willy one day. Mm. What, what, what are you? This is not a thing. You people are just confusing but these even children. Even if they feel that way, what's wrong with just waiting till you're at an older age? And then following through with it, if that's still the way you feel, you know, like just give it time. The problem is that I think, right, this might sound ignorant coming from people that don't have children, but I really think that people don't like making tough decisions and saying no. Like if you send your kid to school and they've got one of these whack job teachers that are rainbowing up the entire classroom and telling the child that they're a boy and they're a girl one day and today they can have catnip and tomorrow they can fucking climb the tree like a monkey... And the kid goes home saying, I want to be X, Y, Z. Instead of being a parent and saying, listen, I don't know what garbage they're filling with your head in with school, but this is not reality. They're just leaning into it. And then they're sticking their kid in front of a TV or an iPad and leaving them to their vices. They go on TikTok. They get it from Jeffrey Marsh or whatever his name was. And the kid doesn't know left from right. Nobody's done their job correctly. But look, I'm 31 years old, right? I don't have children because I still don't feel like I'm ready to bring a child into the world. I don't think people should be having children if they can't be bothered to do the job properly. Children are a full-time job, right? You've got to make sure you raise them correctly so they don't turn into a cycle when they grow up. They're a blank canvas, and you're supposed to instill wisdom on them and make sure you point them in the right direction. And all you idiots are doing is confusing them. Talking to them about sexuality, showing them drag queens in school and you should be teaching them maths and English. What is, going, what is wrong with you people? Child abusers. And the morons on the university campus is just depressing because those people are the future of the country, right? And we have them in our university campuses over here. When we saw the Universal Thoughts guys walking around asking them questions, same thing over here in the UK. Ask somebody a question, they give you the dumbest answer on the planet, not even they believe it. But because they're so concerned of being cancelled, they won't just say what they think. We just want to give a big shout out to Valley Ken, uh, one of our viewers. Thank you for donating uh, to our PayPal. We do appreciate it. We don't ask people to donate. Nobody is obligated to donate anything here. We don't have a subscription model or anything. Now, maybe one day we'll open up something behind a paywall, but that would only ever be things that can't be on YouTube. Not only fans content before any of you get happy. <laughs> yeah, just, we, just want, we want to say thanks uh, yeah. to Valley Ken and also to the other Ken on youtube as well yes. he's uh he's donated to us a few times like i said we've never asked for donations we'll never ask it's it's obviously welcome because um, youtube's something that we want to put more time into and make a make some money on it um and don't and we want to do different things on the channel as well like you guys have asked to see us do different things and it all really comes down to time me and sabi both work full time and and I, I have several jobs myself, so I'm all over the place. Yeah. And it's definitely something that I want to slow down and dedicate more to doing. You know. Yeah, ideally we want to be able to do Midnight Rubbish full time. And we're putting a lot of hard work and effort into it. So it is nice to see that you guys are enjoying our content. Yeah. So like I yeah. said, nobody, nobody has to ever donate. Um, our email address is there on, on the page. It's mikeandsabi at gmail.com. Um, that's that's our PayPal email address. I, I we got a few messages from people um, about donations, but Valley Ken's the first one that has sent in one to PayPal. Then we've got the other Ken that has donated several times on the page. So we just want to say that we appreciate, it and we're probably gonna try and do something for people that are donating or, or wanting to donate or want some sort of subscription model, because uh, that's people have brought that up to me a few times. It's just that. I don't have the time to create different content for the channel right now. Although we are talking about going to haunted mansions and haunted hospitals. So that might be something that we bring out. But even then, I don't think I would put something like that behind a paywall. The th- kind of things that I would put behind a paywall are the things that I, that we can't put on YouTube. Yeah. That 
you know, people can't see without us getting in trouble. So we'll think of something. But anyway, just want to say thank you, Valley Ken and other Ken. Ken M. Ken M. Donated on the super. I think there's a button under under our videos that says super that has like a dollar sign that okay. you, can, you can donate under. But yeah, that's awesome. Much Thanks, guys. Yeah, appreciate it. Like we always read your emails. We always we always read your comments. Um, we love your comments. Keep them coming. Yeah, whether they're negative or positive, I enjoy reading them. <laughs> Me and Sabi have a good laugh sometimes, and sometimes we reply back if, if I've got time. And me. Yeah, you can never really Everyone tell. thinks it's only Michael in the comments, but I am in the comments as well, guys. So yeah, don't be shy. It's not It's not always me you're talking to. So I think... On Sometimes I respond and I think people are still going to think that that's you that's written it. We'll just keep it ambiguous so they won't know who it is. But everyone just assumes it's you, but I am active, everybody. She is there. Some people that have thought they've been speaking to me, it's actually Sab you're speaking mm. to. Did you see someone commented the other day that was like, oh... Um, Mike, Mike, Mike, you're kind of hot or something. No. <laughs> and I replied back, I was like, Mike's super hot. Did you not see it? No, I didn't see it. Because yeah, oh. you replied back, it probably didn't come yeah. up with a notification. Do you not look at the comments when it's like, um, I responded? Because I checked those ones as well, just because you might have liked some that I haven't seen yet. Mike's kind of hot. Mike's super hot. <laughs> Aegon, that's my boy. Oh, is it? Oh. Aegon, that shit, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought I thought you had someone crushing on you. How'd you get it to go capitals like that? I mean, bold like that. You put the asterisk on each side of it. A what? Asterisk. You know, when is you that the star? Yeah. Yeah. You put the stars on your side. Of They're called asterisk. Okay. They're not stars. Stars are okay. in the sky. Anyway. <laughs> thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Can I teach you some Turkish? Yeah, okay. Do you know Hold any on. Turkish? <laughs> I'm not sick of Do you know any Turkish? Just the swear words that your brothers taught me. Okay. So, because this is it. This I could teach you like a short thing. So, if you wanted to say to somebody, um, how are you? You would say, nasılsın? Nasılsın? Yeah. And then I would say, I'm fine. So, I'd say, iyim. And then I can say, sen nasılsın? How are you? Mm. Or most Turks just say, iyim sen. İyim sen. İyim sen. What does that translate to? I'm fine, you. Okay. Mm. Well, Nasusim. Nasusim. Iyem sen, Nasusim. Iyem sen. <laughs> no, no, no, no. You're not asking. I've already, I've already asked you. So oh, how do you no, say it? Yeah. So just say, I'm fine, Iyem. Iyem. And then um, you, you're going to want to say thank you. Mm. So um, the Cypriots say so. So. So. And that's like saying thanks, like in a shorter way than saying teşekkürler, which Turkish is Turkish Cypriots or... Yeah, Cip- Turkish Cypriots usually say so. Okay. How do I say um, subscribe to Midnight Rubbish? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll learn it though. How do, I, how do you say subscribe to Midnight Rubbish in Japanese? Oh, I, I don't know. How do you say it in Greek? You know I don't speak Greek. All right. My Japanese is still weak. I, c- I speak Spanish, you know. Do you? Mm-hmm. How do you say subscribe to Midnight Rubbish? In I don't know how to say that in, in Spanish. <laughs> I don't know how to say subscribe to anything in any language except for English. How do you, how would you greet me in Spanish? Hola. Mm. Como esta? Um, this is the best Spanish I know. Mm. <laughs> Domingo es mi día favorito. What does that mean? Sunday is my favorite day. <laughs> <laughs> Puta. <laughs> Puta, isn't that um, Portuguese? No, that's Spanish. It's Portuguese it's as well. Word. Yeah, it's Portuguese. I watched, I learned it on Narcos. Every time oh, they did something to Pablo Escobar, I was like, Puta. <laughs> <laughs> no momento, por favor. That means, please wait a minute. All right. I yeah. remember we went to Grand Canaria and that's all Fraser could say. Is he it? Before he was yeah. Spanish. <laughs> Oh, is it because they knocked on the door and it was like, oh no, momento. I was like, shut the fuck up, bro. That's the only thing you've said this entire time. 